Hey guys, going to cut down the rambling, so I'm just going to start with this little collection video series here on my channel because I've been thinking about it for a while and I think the first thing I'm going to do is show you my eyeshadow palette collection because eyeshadows are the makeup product that I have the most of and I love the most. So yeah, I figured let's just start. I'm going to show you all the eyeshadow palette that I own at the moment. I'm going to do some swatches for you. So this video is going to be about 15 years long. Grab a cup of tea, find a blankie, go somewhere to lie down and uh, let's get started. Alright, Soft Glam is the newest release from Anastasia in terms of an eyeshadow palette. This was released very recently for spring 2018 and it comes in the same sort of like velvety packaging like the Modern Renaissance and Subculture. Um, this one has like this kind of um, pastel yellow color to it. Funny thing about this palette is this is actually not mine. This is something that a friend of mine let me borrow but I wanted to show it to you because I have it and I have a few thoughts about it so let's just open it up and um, talk about it. So this is how the soft glam looks like. This is a palette for neutral eyeshadow lovers without a doubt and I'm not gonna lie to you if um, I could go back in time and substitute this palette for the modern renaissance I probably would because I feel like the tones of this fit me much better than the modern renaissance that being said I don't regret having the modern renaissance and we're going to talk about it in a little bit but the reason I'm not going to buy this for myself is because there are only a few shades in here that I really really want to have and those are for instance this beautiful rose pink shade over here this is absolutely stunning by the way Oops, let's position myself a bit better. This is such a beautiful, like, subdued, but at the same time very girly pink. This whole eyeshadow palette, by the way, is very feminine to me. This is, like, I don't know, it doesn't get girlier than this eyeshadow palette for me personally. I feel like this is the epitome of girly girl when it comes to eyeshadows. I also really enjoy this shade over here, which is called Sultry. You can see I'm immediately more drawn to like the shades that are more metallic. But this right here is sultry, which is also gorgeous. I absolutely love this shade here, which is glistening. Glistening has a bit of like champagne tones with almost like a pink duo to it. I really like this shade. So, but these are pretty much the three shades that I would really like to own from this eyeshadow palette and I just feel like it's not worth buying the palette just to own these shades. I mean, the mattes in here are good, but I already have Cypress Umber, for instance, in the Modern Renaissance palette. I have Burnt Orange also in the Modern Renaissance, Tempera. I don't need this palette. So, so the next eyeshadow palette here is also from Anastasia and this is the Modern Renaissance palette, the OG Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. I love this eyeshadow palette. A lot of people have been going back on their thoughts about this palette because, I mean, the market is so oversaturated with warm-toned, red-toned eyeshadow palettes right now that I can totally imagine why people have had enough of it. But let's not forget that it's Anastasia who made this eyeshadow palette first, or at least that I can recall. I think maybe Lime Crime had something similar going on, but I feel like this layout of shadows, like a neutral eyeshadow palette with this kind of twist, Anastasia put neutral eyeshadow palettes at a completely different level when they introduce this eyeshadow palette. So my favorite shade in here is without a doubt this shade here which is called Antique Bronze. I freaking love Antique Bronze. It's just such a pretty shade. I love these like more warmer toned browns and this one is absolutely stunning. It's so smooth. The formula on these is absolutely amazing. I also really like Real Girl. It's one of the matte shades. It's like a really deep burnt orange shade. I really enjoy Burnt Orange as well, which is also a matte shade. And I'm gonna go with Vermeer as another one of my favorites from this palette. These shadows are smooth, the quality is absolutely outstanding. There's nothing negative I can say about this palette. Like the next palette you see here is actually an empty eyeshadow palette that um, I bought from MAC in order to put my mattes from Divina Cosmetics in here. This is, by the way, like a DIY kind of situation because the palette wasn't, like, it didn't have a magnetic bottom, so I had to put these, like, magnetic strips in order for the eyeshadows to, to fit in here and to be able to like 
stick nicely. These eyeshadows are beautiful. These are my mats from Divina that I talked about very recently, I think in a whole video. Yeah, I think in a whole video. This shade here, Penelope, I adore it. Such a stunning, beautiful, warm toned pink. This shade here is also very, very nice. I think this. That's Dorina. She's also a beautiful, mustardy type of yellow. I absolutely love this green as. Absolutely love this green as well. It's like a grayish toned green. The purple is really beautiful as well. Look at these. They're so beautiful and so pigmented, and they're really, really easy to work with move into this drawer and go from here to here. The first eyeshadow palette I grabbed from here is also another one of those, like it's not like a pre-made palette, but this is, if any of you remembers, back in the day in 2013 when Makeup Geek had just started, they offered this like ultimate bundle with like a bunch of shadows in it, so these are pre-made in, in, in a way, except for these three shades over here which are from the foiled. Um, eyeshadow collection that I put in here and I removed three other shades that I wasn't using but these are pretty much some of my oldest eyeshadows and you know the first eyeshadows that Makeup Geek ever released which is why you can see a lot of them have been well loved and have good dips in them um, I absolutely love this shade over here I think this one is called Frappe it's a beautiful shade for using as transition I think this shade here is one of the most beautiful chartreuse lime green type of shades. Isn't that absolutely stunning? That is pixie dust, by the way. That is gorgeous. Another one of my favorites in here needs to be this shade here, which is called Pool Party. I love using this as like an accent on my lower lash line, especially when I do colorful looks in the summer. I also really like this green over here, which is Drama Queen. It's a little bit like a blackened forest green. Really beautiful. And I cannot not mention the three foiled eyeshadows that I have in here, which are nostalgic... Damn it, how are you called? Grandstand? Yeah, this is Grandstand. And this one is Untamed. Is it? These are absolutely stunning. These are from the foiled eyeshadow collection. Let me swatch these for you. So this is Untamed. This is one of the most unique shades that I own in my collection. I don't think I have... Here is Untamed. Untamed is one of my favorite eyeshadows like ever. It is the most beautiful orange gold. This one here, Nostalgic, is easily one of my favorite pinks. I'm not like a big on pink eyeshadows, but this one has these beautiful like silvery tones to it and it looks really beautiful on the eye. And this one has to be one of my favorite neutral shades to wear. This is Grandstand. It has beautiful like warm pink tones to it. I absolutely love Grandstand. Then we can move on to a palette that I have talked about for so long and so many times and it doesn't even fit in my <laughs> view right now because it's so huge and that is the Metal Matte palette from Kat Von D. Um, I think your ears probably bleed at this point from me talking about this palette so I'm not going to spend too much time talking about it. I love everything about it. I love the color selection. I love the combination of the Metal Crush formula with the mattes. Um, let me swatch this gorgeous shade here for you. That is what? Isn't that absolutely stunning? What nebula? And another one of my favorite golds, which is oops, all the way up here, and it's called Flash. It has kind of similar tones to Untamed, but it's just a little bit lighter. Aren't these absolutely beautiful? Let's take a look-see here at my uh, Sugar Pill Quads because I have quite a few and I actually have a few more de there. But these are my oldest Sugar Pill eyeshadows. Um, you can see I've been a hardcore Sugar, sugar Pill fan for a really long time because these don't come in this packaging already for at least a year, probably even more. This is my very first quad that I ever bought from Sugar Pill. This is the 
Burning Heart Quad, which contains the most amazing matte red ever, which is this one here, that is Love Plus. I don't think any red comes close to this. I absolutely love Poison Plum as well. This is probably one of the best matte purples on the market. This beautiful orange shade here, which is called Flame Point. Let's see, let's do a bit of swatching. I love this shade. Then here we have another one of my favorites, which is the Heartbreaker Quad. So a little bit dirty, let me remove this. The Heartbreaker Quad in terms of like eyeshadow color selection is probably me in an eyeshadow palette. This green over here, dudes, don't sleep on it because I heard that it's being discontinued and I think it's one of the most beautiful greens ever. That's Acid Berry, and then we have here Velocity, Mochi, and 2AM. 2AM is slightly uh, lighter compared to Poison Plum. Mochi, oops, Mochi is like a minty green, sorry, I'm not watching this very well for you. Velocity is... I don't know, like a royal blue, but I think the real star in this eyeshadow palette is Acid Berry. Then last year I got my hands on the Feline Fancy collection and that was a limited edition collection for Valentine's Day. I really love these eyeshadows, especially sealed with a kiss over here and Kiss Kiss. Sealed with a kiss is the most beautiful like orange pink duo. And Kiss Kiss is one of the most perfect metallic reds you've ever seen. Isn't that gorgeous? Look how beautiful those are. Right, let's dig back into this part here, which contains some of my favorite Urban Decay palettes. This one is the Electric palette, another one that makes me sad to say is being discontinued, because why would you ever discontinue such a beautiful, perfect eyeshadow palette? Another one of my favorite like chartreuse greens. I absolutely love chartreuse greens by the way, which is why I keep talking about them. I also really like this shade here, which is called Slow Burn. Pairing these two, one of the best decisions ever. You will look like a little watermelon. So beautiful. This shade here, Gonzo. Absolutely stunning. And let's watch one of the purples, because we cannot swatch the electric palette without a purple that is urban, which is absolutely beautiful as well. I have no idea why Urban Decay is discontinuing this eyeshadow palette. I think you can still find it here and there, but for the most part it's gone, which makes me feel extremely sad. This is another Urban Decay gem that I absolutely adore, and just like with the electric palette, I have feelings about this and they're a bit on the sad side not for any not because the palette is being discontinued but because I hardly ever hear anyone talk about this this is the Moondust eyeshadow palette I think this was their summer release two years ago and it has eight of their Moondust formula eyeshadows if you've been around my channel you know that I absolutely love the Moondust from Urban Decay um, if I ever run out of this shadow element I will have to repurchase this palette simply because of this eyeshadow I've tried finding dupes for it and nothing comes even close. So if I ever run out of this eyeshadow, I'll buy the palette just for this eyeshadow. Another one that I adore... Oops, sorry, you can see me a little bit here in the screen. Another one that I absolutely adore is Lightyear. These are just super stunning, guys. Let's watch a bit of Galaxy as well, because Galaxy is gorgeous too. There's a bit of a duochrome going on. These are absolutely amazing. I don't know why people never talk about this palette. This palette kind of like came and went and nobody really made a fuss about it. Nobody ever talks about it anymore, which makes me incredibly sad because I think it is one of the best eyeshadows in Urban Decay's range. Speaking of Urban Decay, another one of my favorite releases from them and probably my favorite neutral eyeshadow palette has to be the Naked Heat. These are the shadows that it comes with. They are neutral, orange, smoky shades. I am particularly obsessed with this shade here, which is called Amber. I absolutely love this orangey shade here as well, which is called Dirty Talk. 
and let's watch Lumbre for good measure. So let's see, these are some of the metallics. Amber is the most stunning brown shade on me personally, like a smoky brown. Dirty Dog is an absolutely stunning orange and Lumbre, which I swatched like a idiot, is Lumbre. Lumbre is like one of the lighter metallic shades in this palette because for the most part this is a very smoky palette. But the one that I absolutely adore and love and can never get enough of is this one here, which is Amber. We can move on to my Too Faced palettes over here and we can start with the one that I feel the least excited about and that is the Chocolate Bonbons. While I'm not very excited about this palette mostly because it's a very cool toned palette and I'm not a very cool toned girl, there are shades in here that I really really enjoy. For instance these two shades here, Cashew Chew and Almond Truffle make beautiful matte transitions. I'm not going to swatch them because they're barely going to show up on my skin. Um, in terms of like metallic shades, I think this one over here, Molasses Chip, is ex absolutely beautiful. I like this pink a lot and I think this shade here is also really pretty. I think it's called Satin Sheets, yeah. So, let's do some swatch. You see they're like pretty basic and neutral shades, but they are also just really beautiful. Before the Naked Heat palette was released, this was my favorite neutral eyeshadow palette. This is a Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar palette, pretty much for the same reason that I love the uh, Naked Heat palette for, and that is this is a warm toned neutral eyeshadow palette. I still really like this palette and I use it all the time. This shade over here, which is called Peanut Butter, is a beautiful transition shade. I absolutely love this shade here, which is called Truffled. Um, I really like this one here, which is called Frosting. Let's do a little swatchy swatch. There's this beautiful pop of blue over here. This shade Caramel is also really pretty. And let's see whether I'll be able to swatch Pink Sugar. Pink Sugar is a really interesting shade because, shade because it's like a glitter topper. So you're not going to be able to see it much. But, whoops, let's see. So these are the shades. I don't know whether you can see this glitter topper shade here. It's just really, really cool. I think that they included something like this that you can just pop over top of other shades and give them this beautiful pink sparkly iridescence. Then we go to a palette that has been quite controversial and a lot of people have said very negative things about it. This is the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. I'm sorry guys, I'm not going to be one of the people who wants to say negative things about this palette because all I have to say about this palette is only positive things. I absolutely love the color selection here. I think it's just so interesting with like that grayish green, the two peach colors here. This shade here, the Luscious, is absolutely stunning. These two shades are absolutely gorgeous. Yes, the purples, not my favorites. Um, and I hardly ever reach for this shade here, but most of the shades in this palette, oh this here, Georgia, one of my absolute favorite matte transition shades. Again, not going to be able to show it to you because, I mean, it's nothing very interesting if I just swatch it. But let's see, let's watch Luscious, Just Peachy and let's watch Bless Her Heart because Bless Her Heart is one of my favorite shades in this palette. Let's see what we got next. Then we have... Then we got just Peachy, which is a very beautiful peachy shade. And we got Bless Her Heart. I think Bless Her Heart is gorgeous too. I love traveling with this palette, so I very often take it with me when I go places. Let's uh, see what's in here into this uh, drawer with small palettes. So the first one in here is my Linda Halberg Enchanted Secrets palette. This is a very expensive palette in incredibly cheap packaging but it is absolutely stunning. These are some of the most unique shades that I own. They're like um, duochrome multitaskers. You can use them over top of other shades, you can use them as highlighters, you can do whatever the fuck you want with them. I personally love Zephyr and I think Ethereal is also really beautiful. How gorgeous these are. So we got Zephyr and Ethereal. These are stunning. I use this palette from Zora Morbid because that's actually not an eye palette. I do use it as an eye palette though and I will show you the only color that I use as an um, like eye sort of thing. 
and that is this one over here like on the purpley side because it has the most beautiful stunning purple iridescence to it and it makes the most gorgeous inner corner highlight I love pairing this with my Naked Heat palette and I put this one in the inner corner as a pop of purple and it looks absolutely stunning the next small eyeshadow palette I have in here is this beautiful gem from a couple years ago. It was a Halloween release, I think, from Notoriously Morbid. And it contains the first four pressed eyeshadows that Carrie ever made. These are absolutely stunning. Um, these three in particular, are my all of them, are my jam. This purple, this kind of duochrome shade that we're going to swatch in a second, and this gorgeous red. Look at that. So that's a duochrome shade. It's kind of like a... I want to say like a dusty olive green with a pink iridescence to it. Then we have the purple, which is one of the most stunning purples that I own. And the red just has my heart. The next one that I have in here is the Huda Beauty Mauve Obsessions palette. This is a beautiful little palette. It's not overly expensive, which is sometimes the case with Huda Beauty eyeshadows. And I do actually very much enjoy the quality of the eyeshadows in here. These are stunning. The mattes are really beautiful as well. I don't really know what more to say. This is like a very like mauve rose toned, pink toned, red toned eyeshadow palette. So if you're into these kind of tones, I think this is a great little palette to have in your collection. Look at that beautiful red. This is another one of those pinks that I enjoy. And this is one of the mattes. These are beautiful. There's nothing more I can say about it. On this side here with the smallish eyeshadow palettes, I have two quotes here from Anastasia Beverly Hills that I've made myself. Um, I made this one last year and I especially wanted to own this shade here which is called Pink Champagne. I think this is one of the most unique pinks in my collection and one of the most unique eyeshadows generally speaking in my collection. Let me swatch Pink Champagne for you, at least Pink Champagne, because this shade is stunning, beautiful and super unique. I absolutely adore it. If you want to try an eyeshadow from Anastasia Beverly Hills, like from the metallic formula, and you're hesitating which one, go for Pink Champagne. You're not going to regret it. Then this is an eyeshadow quote that I mentioned very recently in a makeup haul, so I'm not going to spend too long rambling about it. I absolutely love this shade here, which is like, again, a chartreuse type of green. I have a thing with the chartreuse greens. Henna is one of the most beautiful like coppery orange shades and truffle glitter here is also beautiful. This purple, I love it. Yeah. If I want to swatch everything for you, we're going to be here for 15 years, but truffle glitter, I think this is called Tiger's Eye and this is Henna. They are absolutely insane. I love them. I really like Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadows. I can't say enough good things about them. Got two more palettes from first here. This is my Prism palette. Whoops, upside down. This was released for the holidays 2018, like 2017, 2018. I love this eyeshadow palette. I think the color selection is absolutely gorgeous. Um, I absolutely love the mattes in here, such as this one and this one. I think this shade here, Dimension, is one of the most unique purples that I own. It's like this dusty grayish purple pyramid is stunning and this shade here eternal is one of my favorite orange shades ever dimension pyramid and eternal speaking of anastasia beverly hills eyeshadows Let's talk about subcultures for just a few seconds. I've done a specific video talking about this palette and as you know I'm not one of the people who had problems with this palette. I absolutely adore it. I think this is one of the most unique eyeshadows to have ever come on the market. This palette... Whoops. This palette is the reason why I love Anastasia Beverly Hills. Because they dare to do things like this. They dare to release like color schemes like this and textures like this and I appreciate that in a company. Mm -hmm. This shade here, Edge, one of my favorite like mustardy type of yellows. This orange shade here is stunning. This green, Destiny, absolutely beautiful. 
Let's do a little swatchy swatch of some of the mattes. They have insane pigmentation. I have no issues blending these. I will mention though, the one eyeshadow that I dislike in this palette and I have issues blending is this one. It just sticks very patchy and just doesn't do what you want it to do. This shade here though, Adorn, oh my goodness. This is such a beautiful, it, the texture of this is like velvet. It is so absolutely stunning. Look at that. I adore this eyeshadow palette. I wish people would stop hating on it. Okay, next up here we have we got an eyeshadow palette that is incredibly old. This is the ultimate shadow box or I don't even know how it's called from Urban Decay. It has this beautiful sequin here on the packaging and it comes with some of uh, Urban Decay's favorites or at least what were considered favorites a couple of years ago. Um, I'm considering taking this palette out to like use it more and possibly pan it a bit more because this shade here, Graffiti, this shade here, Peace, are absolutely the type of, of shades that I like to use as pops of color in my neutral looks. So I should just really put this palette outside and use it more because look at these. They are so beautiful. So beautiful. Love it. Next up here we have a sleek eyeshadow palette that I haven't touched in years. This is the Snapshots eyeshadow palette and when I show you the colors you're going to know exactly why I like this palette so much. I really don't know why I'm not using it because these are gorgeous. Look at that. Why am I not using these more? They're super pretty. Then we got one of the perfect filter palettes from NYX. I never hear people talk about these palettes. Um, the one that I have is in Marine Layer and I absolutely love this. I use it a lot more than I expected to. I mean, you got a duochrome, you got a beautiful blue, you got this duochrome type of neutrals here. Let's just watch this one for good measure. They're so pretty. <laughs> Let's watch the blue. And then that duochrome pink shade. These are beautiful. I don't know why people don't use and talk about these palettes more. Then another one of my oldest eyeshadow palettes here is from Lunatic Cosmetic Labs and that is the Zombie Defense palette. And you can clearly see why I love this palette. This purple, this green, this red. The one thing I dislike about these, and I'm not sure whether they changed the formula, but these are incredibly fragile, so they break really easily. I don't know whether you can see, just from me swirling my finger in the pan, the shadow is like all over the place. These are stunning. If you like the aesthetic of Lunatic Labs, I would highly recommend trying the eyeshadows because they're very, very soft and buttery. And I think maybe in the meantime, Lunatic Labs has changed their formula a little bit so they're not as fragile anymore. And the last palette that is currently in this drawer is this palette from Marc Jacobs, which I consider to be like a luxury treat. I don't want to say regret, but I really didn't need this palette. This is the Dreamer palette and it has these pretty neutral warm tone shades. Whoops. Sorry. Over here. They're nothing too special. I really like the gold and this rose goldy shade over here. I think they are really pretty. But other than that, this palette isn't groundbreaking. And before I forget, here I also have my uh, Colourpop palette, which I have filled with my Luxie eyeshadow collection. I wouldn't even know where to start watching these shades for you. They are all absolutely beautiful. I have a, not like a bunch of the Auroras from her, so like the duochrome types of shades because they are like my favorites. Let's watch like three. Let's say these three. These are absolutely beautiful. If you like duochrome shades and sparkly shades, you should definitely check out Luxy. Then I have these three eyeshadows, uh, which I normally keep in the back of this drawer right here. Uh, two of them are from Sugar Pill and one of them is from Zueva. So let's start with the Sugar Pill ones, just so we are finished with Sugar Pill. So the first one, whoopsie, is the Sparkle Baby palette. This has also been discontinued, but you can get the singles. Um, 
I don't use this palette very often, I'm gonna be honest with you, even though this shade here, Candy Crush, is absolutely stunning. Kitten Parade is gorgeous as well. Hotsy Totsy is probably one of the best, like, um, matte hot pink eyeshadows. So this is Candy Crush, Kitten Parade and Hotsy Totsy. These are absolutely stunning, especially Kitten Crush, of Kitten Crush Candy Crush is just yummy. I do like this a lot. I really like the aesthetic of Sugar Peel and I mean this has a kitty on it. Of course I needed to have it. And it's kind of a shame that I'm going to like end my story with uh, Sugar Peel at this point with the Edward Scissorhands palette because I do not like this palette. Um, I love the packaging, I love the idea, but truth be told, these are not my favorite types of shades. I do really like this shade here which is called Suburbia. It's like a very peachy orangey pastel type of shade. I am not a huge fan of Home Sweet Home. It's a very... It's very powdery and this shade here which is Ice Angel, supposedly a duochrome, nothing in comparison to Lumi. I do like this dark grey, this dark brown is nice as well. This shade, Heart Shaped Cookie, is fine for like blending out purposes but generally speaking these shades are just not my jam and I have no idea why I bought this palette. I think I bought it mostly because... Oh, the dual chrome actually looks really nice now. Um, I bought this palette mostly because of sentimental reasons, you know, Edward Scissorhands, 90s, that kind of thing. That being said, I consider this palette one of my, you know, makeup regrets. I don't really need this palette. I don't know if I'm going to hold on to it forever and ever, but for now it's just there hanging out in the back of my drawer. Then an eyeshadow palette that I'm absolutely guilty of just plain ignoring is my Coco Blend from Zoeva. I don't really know why I ignore this palette. It's absolutely beautiful. Look at this shade. Let's just watch a couple of the metallics because damn they're so pretty. Look at that. Oh man. Why am I not, why am I not using this eyeshadow palette? I'm so dumb. I should really just take it out and play with it. It's just that it's in the back of my drawer and I just never reach for it because it's in the back of my drawer. And by the way, not only are the metallics nice, but the mattes in here are also really really nice to work with. I, I, This is a beautiful eyeshadow palette. It's inexpensive. It's a European brand. I don't know what I'm doing with my life and I'm not using this. I'm going to use this more often. Let's continue with another brand of eyeshadows that I'm very guilty of ignoring for some reason. And those are my Inglot eyeshadows. I have several eyeshadow palettes here that I've either made myself or they were like pre-made and sold. But basically the whole idea is that you buy your palette and then, whoopsie, and then you, you know, fill it with eyeshadows as you please and then you take them out by this magnetic mechanism, which is very well demonstrated right at this second. Let me put this green right here, back into its home, before it gets damaged somewhere. I've chosen these... whoops, let's see how to hold this. So, I've chosen these eyeshadows myself. Some of these are metallics, uh, a lot of these are mattes, some of them are from like their rainbow collection. This one, for instance, with these olive tones, one of my absolute favorite eyeshadows. This also olive golden green shade is beautiful. This teal here is one of my favorites. And I was talking earlier about my favorite yellows. This is my favorite matte yellow. It's just, this is the type of yellow that I really like. And then let's swatch some of the metallics. Let's definitely swatch this one because it's beautiful. Oh man. It's so hard to choose what to swatch because I love all of these. Let's just watch a few more Inglot eyeshadows so that, you know, I can show you how beautiful they are. Let's see, let's watch these. I used to be obsessed with this metallic blue. It's also the only eyeshadow in this palette that has somewhat of a dent in it. These are so pretty. This eyeshadow palette, whoopsie, was kind of pre-made. I bought it from the Dutch Inglot website because it was half off. Look at this shade. Speaking of obsession with chartreuse greens, look at this green. 
aren't they freaking stunning? This one is like a very interesting silvery purple shade as well. I can't, I can't really explain it very well, but let's watch these. Chartreuse, forest green, and that metallic silvery gray. Gorgeous. And then I have this little palette here with rainbow eyeshadows, which was a gift from my brother and a very good friend of mine. I absolutely love this. This green here, adore. The orange, the yellow, gorgeous. Okay, then we got three palettes here from Urban Decay. Let's start off with the least exciting one, and that is the Urban Decay Na Naked Ultimate Basics. The packaging on this is stunning. Not quite sure whether I really needed this palette, I don't think so, mostly because what I really don't like about this palette is the repetition. Like, these three shades here, when I put them on my eyes, they really don't look all that different. Um, I do like this one a lot though, this is um, extra bitter, it's like a very very warm orangey brown shade. I really dig this here. This is also a very nice shade, but that being said, I don't use these kind of basic, basic shades often enough to justify having this palette, but it's Urban Decay and I needed it. Another eyeshadow palette that is a bit more like on the neutral side, but I absolutely adore and I will never regret owning this palette, that is the Urban Decay and Gwen Stefani collab. First of all, because the packaging on this. First of all, the packaging on this palette is absolutely stunning. Second of all, if you were like me and you grew up during the 90s and don't speak from... Uh, no doubt was your jam, then you know exactly why I adore Gwen Stefani. And to be honest, I also really like some of the shades in this palette. Um, I think a lot of the neutrals here, they, they look very similar, but at the same time they have very different tones to them. I absolutely love this shade here, which is called Pop. It's one of the more, you know, chunky, glittery types of shades, which, you know, I like so much. I really like this gray, matte gray shade. I really like this blue and this pink over here is also really pretty. I don't know, I really like this shadow palette. These are stunning, no? My newest Urban Decay edition is the Heavy Metals palette, which I also absolutely adore. It has a variety of neutrals on one side and then the pops of color on the other side. Um, as far as the neutral goes, I absolutely love this shade here, which is called Maiden. Um, I like the orange, and from the colorful side, definitely, I absolutely adore. I think it's called Amp, just like the glitter liner. These are just absolutely stunning. There's nothing more to say about them. They are exactly what you want uh, eyeshadow palette with heavy metals eyeshadows to contain. They're metallic, they're reflective, they're pigmented. I absolutely adore this palette. I have a review swatch and demo video of this. So if you want to hear in-depth thoughts and see more swatches, then ch check out the video. And we're almost at the end, guys, I promise. We have just two more palettes to go. And those are both from Kat Von D. So the first one is my beloved Saint and Sinner palette, which I crowned best palette of the year for last year. I absolutely, whoops, I absolutely adore this palette because it challenges my creativity and it just it just always pushes my creativity and I always absolutely love the looks that I uh, create with this palette. This shade here, Immaculate, is absolutely stunning. This is probably one of my favorite like olive greens. I love olive greens and this one is absolutely at the top. This gold and this red are insane. This is just, I don't know, I love this eyeshadow palette. I love the layout. I, I know that it's a little bit messy and all over the place, but this is exactly why I love it, because I feel like this is the part which challenges my mind to come up with new color combinations, because if everything was laid out logically, I would not come up with out-of-the-box color combinations. So I love the layout of this palette. I love everything about it, the packaging, just stunning. 
newest uh, eyeshadow palette edition from Kat Von D is the 10 year anniversary palette. I think this is a gorgeous palette. The color selection, the color scheme, the quality, everything about this eyeshadow palette is just absolutely stunning. The metallics are gorgeous, but so are the mattes. Let's just watch three of these. So this is the brick red, this is the green teal shade. And this is duochrome. I think these are gorgeous. If you've, I mean, if you've tried Kat Von D eyeshadows, you know exactly what to expect. And this is where I currently stand with my uh, eyeshadow palettes. I'm pretty sure I'm going to obtain more eyeshadow palettes in the future, and I'm probably going to do an updated version of this video someday. But for now, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you soon.